Good afternoon, I'm Anne Marie LaFlame, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Right now, nearly 50,000 UAW General Motors workers are on strike nationwide. Contract talks broke down, and workers hit the picket lines at midnight. Negotiations resumed at 10 a.m. We're still awaiting word of any progress or tentative agreements. This is a high stakes for both sides. The company stands to lose a quarter of a billion dollars each day the strike continues. GM is responding to the strike by saying the company offered a fair contract. Of course, we will continue to follow the very latest developments as they happen both on air and online at WXYZ.com. Sterling Heights police are investigating an officer-involved shooting where police were called to a home on Bonaparte Avenue near Van Dyke and Utica Road early this morning. Police say a man at the home pointed a gun at an officer. That officer then shot him and the man was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Michigan State Police are investigating the incident. And it could soon cost you more to get around Metro Detroit as a drone strike on two major oil facilities in Saudi Arabia is expected to send gas prices higher. Those fires took out nearly half of Saudi's oil production, which is about 5% of the global oil supply. Rebels in Yemen claimed responsibility for the attacks, but Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says there is no evidence of that and instead they are blaming Iran. Let's check in now with 7 First Alert meteorologist Mike Taylor. Temperatures are into the 70s for the rest of today. We'll stay mostly cloudy, just some peaks of sun. Not going to rule out a stray shower as well. For the Tigers game, we're expecting numbers to stay in the 70s, and we'll have those showers maybe around first pitch, but then towards the closeout of the game, sky should clear up a little bit. Seven-day forecast brings the 80s back in here by Wednesday, and they'll stay with us all the way through the weekend. Season 28 debut of Dancing with the Stars premieres tonight, but an injury has already caused a change to the cast. Supermodel and Monroe native Christy Brinkley reports that she broke, broke her arm in rehearsals and will not be heading the dance floor this season. Her daughter, who's also a model, Sailor Brinkley Cook, will take her place. Be sure to tune in for Dancing with the Stars tonight at 8, only on 7. And those are your headlines from 7 Action News. Remember, the news is always on WXYZ.com and the 7 Action News mobile app. I'm Anne Marie LaFlame. Have a great day.